Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on? Cuts by Reggie, back with another review of something new, right? I know, y'all see, different location. I'm in a secret um, hiding place. And, um, you know, I took, eh. <laughs> anyway, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like if you like the videos, there's a thumbs up button. If you dislike the videos, there's a thumbs down button. I just had some time at the crib. I've been working with this new clipper here sent to me by a company called Superint, right? So I just thought I'd unbox it, give my quick review on it. Um, and yeah, just talk about it a little bit. So this is a company, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Superint, 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 Superint. Anyway, they contacted me about uh, some product so they got this clipper that they wanted me to try out and that's what i did right so as you can see and as far as where they're located i have no idea i don't know if they're us i don't know if they're cross seas i honestly don't know they sent me the product i thought i'd give it a go as you can see here's the package all right if y'all can see that not too much going on. It really don't have a name for it. It just says Super Inspire the Next You, the ultimate finishing tool professional. All right. It's a cordless clipper. All right. So, okay, as you can see here, China. So it's a it's a Chinese-based company. On the back, nothing much. Haircut, trimming beard, sideburns, edge around the ears really no information on this professional haircuts for barbers and home use stay sharp longer to cut all types of hair powerful heavy duty powerful heavy duty lithium ion battery all right so we're just going to do a quick unboxing that's all the information it gives you self sharpening and don't have no battery life it don't have how long it takes to charge or anything so you can see sleeve come off and then boom inspire the next you opens and i've been using this but i did anyway i've been using it all right so inspire the next you comes with a comb as you can see it's a very thick feel durable type comb comes with a cape if you need a cape which you can tell which is funny to say, but you can tell when a company is a more of a budget style clipper, because a lot of those style clippers will include a cape. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know why, but it, I mean, I do know why, because if they're if they're also inspiring to be a home use clipper as well, many home people, people that's cutting at home might not have a cape. So it's good to have that option and that the extra in there, all right? So here you go. Comes with the pamphlet here. Let's see if they got a little bit on here about the product. Uh, no, just the same basics that's on the outside. Okay, here it comes. Char charging time, uh, five, I mean, charging time about three hours. For a, with a full charge get you five hours of runtime and we'll talk about the runtime here in a second so that's why sometimes if it's not on a box read the pamphlet i'm not a good a big reader no i say good reader so I, either way i'm not a big reader <laughs> so there you go uh yeah so three hours of charging time for a five hour runtime that's not bad at all lithium ion battery that's it's not bad at all without knowing that we're going to talk about that battery life all right so here's the machine but we're going to set that to the side for a second on the inside it does come with guards almost like a wall premium style guard these guards don't actually they're not as durable as the the wall they don't feel as high performance as the wall uh premiums but you see the design that they are going for and it do come with a half guard which is their a guard all the way up to a four all right and it comes with your 
your charging cord, but does not come with a charging block. Again, a lot of clippers, they're using a USB charge. So a lot of people, whether it's from phones, whether it's from games, whether it's from headphones, a lot of people have uh, charging blocks. So whether you're using this in the shop or you're using it at the house, it's a high chance that you have a charging block to use for the USB. Come with a brush, small thing of oil. So we're gonna set that to the side. Like I said, do come with the guards. Now this clipper is a budget clipper, all right? Which is sometimes a bad thing, but it can sometimes be a good thing. So this is the actual clipper. This is the super. See the wide body style, which looks awfully familiar to another clipper that I have reviewed before, which is the uh, caliber, the 44, the FMG, and then this is the Super, which is crazy how close that they are, but this cal this from caliber still feel more heavy duty. All right. Um, I don't know. I mean, I do know which ones I used first, which was the caliber. If you watch my clippers of the year from last year, this was in the top, one of the top clippers that I, that I've been using that I liked from last year. Great clipper. All right. So this, you can see the design lever, floating lever. I do like that gold and silver. Now on their website, they do have a all chrome edition of this as well and these only run for about 35 38 dollars okay as far as the calibers i don't quite remember the price of these but i'll put the price here right right there but yeah so you got the the calibers which is the same design down there or the supers which is the same design of the calibers okay so again you get the design, full wideness here, almost like Superman standing up. You get the blade. It comes with the fade blade. It's a little off right now. I dropped, not dropped it, but I hit it on something earlier, so it kind of knocked it off a little bit. But you can see that blade. This is this is how it came on this end here. So it's not bad. Opens up nice. All right. Also has the display here. And you can see I got 53% left. I've been using these. So I use them one week fully, right? And then I've been going kind of going back and forth because I still like to use my Rebels, right? But without me, because I didn't read the pamphlet before I just unboxed it. But without me knowing the runtime, I knew it couldn't be nothing an hour i knew it couldn't be an hour and a half because these have not died these have not died at all all right as you can see i'm still at 53 percent. that is 50 i'm looking at it backwards so it looked like anyway 53 percent. very quiet very quiet now let's compare that sound to the calibers now i do have a little i do have some power left in that So dang near, near the same design, all right? Both come with a fade blade. Of course, this is the caliber fade blade. It's a, it's a little bit thinner than the, the gold one on that one. Their levers are different. And this actually does have a click lever on it, whereas this one is just a floating lever. And let me see if it say how long this battery lasts on the so it's a five hour run time so it's pretty much the same clipper differences in this is price all right so pretty much the same as that caliber clipper this this runs it cuts through bulk 
it cuts through bulk very nicely. And that blade on there, as far as for fading, great fading clipper. All right, great fading. The only thing, which is was the only thing that I had the problem with the caliber is the thickness of the clipper here. My hands are fat, but they're a little short, right? So when I'm around here, it's not bad now that I've been using them, but you gotta find that right angle of that thickness of that of the clipper. I wish I had another clipper here. Just that slim build of something, certain clippers is a better feel, all right? So you do get the Supra. Five hours of runtime, uh, $38. You go to their website, $38, okay? Uh, yeah, overall, great clipper. Great clipper. It, it cuts through bulk very smooth. Uh, let me see, because this says what battery is on here. So I guess it's the same motor, which I don't know. Maybe they're just using the same uh, manufacturer or this company saw a build that they liked and went from there. But there are slight differences. These are the, I'm guessing this might have a rotary motor as well. I'm gonna open it up and see, all right? So we'll open it up and see, but I'm guessing it got a rotary motor. It got the same sound, same hum, same design. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same clipper. It lasts the time that it lasts. That's another thing, right? With that display as well, right? So these, some of these cheaper clippers that you get in, like, I know a lot of people, we wanna stick to the brands, which is fine. But sometimes these clippers that, $38, five hours of run time, cut through bulk. Maybe if you don't like that blade, I'm pretty sure you can just swap it out, put a Stylecraft Fusion blade on there and get the chopping, all right? Um, even that bracket, maybe you change that bracket, put a put an Andes blade on there, a fast feed blade on there, all right? There's options, okay? So all in all, is this clipper worth it? If you are looking if you are a, 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 a barber at the house, not a barber, but if you cut hair at the house, this is the perfect clipper for you, all right? If you are a newer barber, just stepping in, you don't have the money or don't know if you really want to spend so much on a $200, $300 clipper, even $150, this is the clipper for you. This is going to get the job done. And a lot of you, a lot of people might get this clipper, and stick with this clipper. This is probably the best budget style clipper that I've used. Now, with that being said, it's pretty much based off the caliber FMJ. Okay, so let's say you do have a little bit extra dollars and you can afford something, but you do like the way this is. This is what you get. You go ahead and get the caliber. It got a stronger build, it's like, it. It's almost the same, but it just feel, I don't know. And maybe that is the name stuck on me. You get what I'm saying? But this just, the, the caliber just feel more durable. It's still like it's gonna last a little bit longer. I haven't had a problem when I'm using these, all right? But with all that being said, you can't go wrong with this clipper from Super. Okay, so I'm gonna leave their, their link down below uh, for the website that you can go to. If you are looking for a clipper or you just wanna try something else and you don't wanna spend all that money, try this clipper out. I promise you, it's gonna, it's gonna get the job done. Whether it's fading, whether it's uh, finishing, whether it's taking down bulk, it's gonna go through and it's gonna cut, right? I really didn't have no flaws with this one, except for the way it's built which is the only problem that I had with the Caliber FMJ, all right? And I didn't want to really compare those two clippers because they are two different companies, but it's the same clipper, all right? But if you're looking for a budget clipper, this is the one you're going. But if you don't want to buy one of these clippers, but if you don't want to buy one of these clippers, but you still want to give it a go. I have three more that will be part of a giveaway later. Okay. For this giveaway, 
make sure that you are following me on Instagram at Cuts by Reggie. Stay updated to when this giveaway will happen if you're interested. You might not be interested in a budget style clipper, but if you are, a giveaway coming soon, all right? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the videos, hit the thumbs up. If you dislike it, hit the thumbs down. That's fine. Leave your comments down below, whether good or bad. All right, let's stay engaged. Let's let's talk back and forth. Let's see what I said wrong or good, okay? And we'll be back. The 5,000 subscriber giveaway, we almost there. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friend to subscribe and tell your friend's mama to subscribe, okay? And then after the giveaway, whether they lose or win, if they didn't want to unsubscribe, I mean, I can't tell them to stay subscribed. But let's get to that 5,000 mark and we'll be back. Peace.